Hello YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Ryzen Master to undervolt your Ryzen CPU. This will work on both 5000 and 7000 Ryzen CPUs. This undervolt will allow you to reduce the temperatures of your CPU while increasing the clock speeds. Right, let's go. Right, first up, we'll go over to our screen here and get started. I have had previous videos showing how to um, undervolt your Ryzen CPU in the BIOS. Uh, while that allows for more advanced features, this process with the Ryzen Master software is a lot simpler and within a few clicks of a button will allow you to reduce your temperatures and increase those clock speeds. First thing we need to do is download the Ryzen Master software. So first things up, we want to go to Google and type in uh, Ryzen, sorry, Ryzen Master uh, software, or sorry, download. That should do it. Okay, the first option we get up here um, for the Ryzen Master utility for overclocking control, um, this will be the one we want. So that's the web address if you want to go directly to it, shown up here. And if we scroll down this page, we'll get a download option. So once we scroll down, we get to a download button. We're going to click download now, which is going to download the piece of software. Uh, as you see, I have it here already. But for this video, I've completely uninstalled it. I'm going to do it from scratch. So we'll open this file. And once we do that, uh, click yes to any security message pop-ups. And this will start the install process. The next screen we'll get is shown here. You need to just scroll through the license agreement to the very bottom, which will allow us to um, click the agree buttons again on the next tab and install. So just get those two tick boxes checked and click install. Right, this brings up our basic view of the Ryzen Master software. Just to be aware, there's two views and we'll go through both of them um, in this video. We're mainly going to be applying the settings in the basic view as this is the you know, simplest way we're going to discuss here to do this. But um, if you want to get to the advanced view at any stage, you're just going to click this advanced view option here and it'll bring up another window which gives us plenty of more options and details regarding our CPU, the different cores, the clocks, the voltages, um, etc. And to get back to basic view then here, on the left hand side, hit basic view. Okay, all we need to do here, simple steps. We want to apply a per core uh, curve optimizer and allow then the software itself to test each core, apply a curve optimizer value, and those values are between zero and 30. So on this setting here, you're gonna select per core and start optimizing. Within here, um, first time to bring this up, you have the option to set, to set the offset deviation. We're gonna use the max here of minus 30. This will allow um, the Ryzen Master software to apply the highest undervolt value it can after testing where the CPU is still stable. So once we do all that there, we're going to click uh, start. What's going to happen here is that Ryzen Master is going to start testing each CPU core in the background and applying the highest level of undervolt it can where your system is still stable. So this will take between you know, one to two hours to complete. So just let this run in the background. And once it's complete, then we will um, have a look at what it shows. Okay, we're back here and the optimization has complete. All values have been optimized and this uh, message will pop up. Uh, at this stage, we just click OK, uh, which will have completed the process. After clicking OK, the next thing we want to do here is click Apply. Um, once we click the Apply button, a message will pop up saying that the machine will restart. Uh, so we'll do that, hit OK here, the machine will restart and Ryzen Master will open automatically itself when you boot back in. So now we're back here within the uh, system and to look at the settings we've changed, we can click an advanced view here and under the home tab here, uh, we'll see the values that have been applied through this optimization process. So for my example, uh, for the cores, it's between minus 21 and minus 23 out of 30. So a decent undervolt, which should improve performance and lower temperatures. If you want to manually change these values for any reason, such as maybe you know lowering the offset if your system is crashing, uh, within the Cover Optimizer uh, tab on the left hand side, you can uh, hit the button here to change it to manual offset and allow you change those values up and down if you wish. So just to give you some context to the differences I observed while changing these settings. On default, when testing with Cinebench R23 with the multi-core test, I was getting a clock, uh, all-core clock of 4.1 and a score of 19922, 
with a package temperature of between 67 and 70 degrees. When I changed it to the Parkour um, optimizer, uh, it increased to 4.3, 4.4 on my all core on Cinebench R23. The uh, score on that run was 21026 and the package temperature was about 60 degrees. So I went from 4.1 to 4.4. I went from a 70 degree package temperature down to a 60 degree package temperature and everything has run absolutely fine testing this over a number of weeks, playing a number of games. Hopefully you get similar results. Hopefully it helps you reduce those temperatures, gives you a little bit of extra performance. It's definitely the easiest way to do this. Hopefully this video has helped. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment below. And as ever, thanks for watching.